five reasons why you should be excited for Star Citizen Alpha 3.17.2. Let's talk about it. Hello fellow citizen, this is phase one. If you're new to this channel, we do all kinds of Star Citizen content. So if you do like this type of content, make sure to leave a like and a sub as well. So the first reason why you should be excited for the upcoming Star Citizen Alpha 3.17.2 is the addition of Station Lagrange points. Implementing additional rest stops, uh, locations surrounding the Microtech and Art Corp, including both the station as well as the gas clouds. It's always great to have new locations to visit from my standpoint. I'm curious to see what kind of new shops we can expect to see, as well as the possibility of new refineries with better bonuses. Number two is illegal delivery missions. They mentioned in the most recent Inside Star Citizen episode um, that they will be adding illegal variants of the delivery missions. So now this will give pirates more things to do aside from PVP. This mechanic will include reputation gains uh, with criminal factions as well. Number three is the derelict reclaimer points of interest. Additional points of interest that will be scattered on both planets and in space. They will be adding the derelict ages reclaimer with some type of activity. So now this could be a puzzle, a traversal, or missions, along with rewards to loot. A huge portion of the Star Citizen community is interested in exploration. So to have more derelicts to explore is fantastic. We will have more things to find when exploring with these new derelict points of interest. And last but not least is the AI planetary navigation. This system will allow NPCs to move on planetary surfaces using the dynamic generated nav mesh. This will efficiently process the planetary terrain and objects to prioritize the processing of the environment around the player into a nav mesh, allowing the use of all existing functionality on the planet. The first implementation will be the reclaimer derelict points of interest that we mentioned earlier. Um, this is huge. This is huge for those that enjoy exploration, especially. Um, you can now encounter NPCs at these derelict locations. I'm assuming these NPCs will be hostile initially uh, to protect the loot that's inside, but it's possible to find friendly NPCs or even mission givers in the future implementation of this tech. This tech will open things up like adding NPCs at bunker locations to protect the exterior, which will make things more interesting for those that enjoy the FPS side of things in Star Citizen. Players will need to consider landing away from the actual bunker locations and either taking a rover or approaching the site on foot. We will now have legitimate reasons to use our sniper rifles we've been finding in these loot boxes. I believe a large portion of the community has been waiting for this feature, so it's definitely welcomed. Almost forgot the biggest feature for Star Citizen Alpha 3.17.2, which is Siege of Orison. Implementation of Siege of Orison is a new dynamic event in the Persistent Universe. Featuring both FPS and flight combat, this new event puts uh, you against the Nine Tails to liberate the floating platforms of Orison. This new dynamic event is the biggest yet. It's exciting to have more activity in the Crusader sector. This event will encourage teamwork of friends and orgments. This event will not be only for PVE, but also a haven for PVP as well. I myself is excited for this patch, especially the AI planetary navigation and Siege of Force. Let me know which feature you're most excited about in the comments below. And as always, leave a like and a sub. I'll see you on the next one.